Hey guys, this is a video that has been requested by so many of my subscribers for the last couple of months and so I finally decided to sit down and talk to you all about how I have dealt with disappointment with like bad grades. And first of all, it's important to remember that everyone has different standards that they've set for themselves. So failure is a very, very relative term. It could be someone getting like an A minus or a B for the first time, or it could be someone who just isn't doing well overall. So just keep that in mind as you watch this. And I think that first of all, it is super important to remember that grades are not everything. And yes, this is sort of ironic coming from someone who is running a YouTube channel about studying, but I think that it's really important to accept that everyone gets bad grades at some point point in their lives. So the only subject that has given me a lot of difficulty is calculus. Last year I took AP Calculus AB and this year as a senior I am taking AP Calculus BC. Both classes have been extremely difficult for me to succeed in and although I am now happy with how I've progressed at first, it was really, really hard for me and I was getting all sorts of test grades that I wasn't happy with. And every time that that would happen, I would be super upset and I would just tell someone who is in the similar situation that it's okay to be upset with yourself. It's okay to feel disappointed in yourself. It's okay to be angry at yourself for making careless mistakes. It's okay to be upset about having a grade you're not happy with. But it's also really important to make sure that you don't stay in that mindset mindset so usually if that would happen to me I would go home and I would like watch some of my favorite TV show or watch a quick movie maybe take a nap eat some ice cream anything that'll just uplift my mood a little bit so I can get back into a positive hard-working mindset my next tip for someone who is dealing with failure or disappointment in regards to grades is to make sure you're keeping yourself and your mindset as realistic as possible I'm someone who can be a little over dramatic if I don't do very well on a test and I'll like tell myself that oh now I'm never going to get into a college that I want to or I'm never going to do well for the rest of the quarter or semester and that you know this test grade is defining the rest of my life I'm never gonna get a job no one's gonna hire me I'm not gonna get into school and just kind of keep going in circles like that and the, I've kind of learned over the last couple of years that those types of thoughts are completely unrealistic even if you don't do as well as you'd like to chances are you will still get into a college or university you will still get a job and you will still live a happy life and one test score is not going to upset the entire journey of your life and that's just something you really have to think about as often as you can. There is a vital shift in attitude that has to happen after you deal with a disappointing grade from a very negative, upset, disappointed attitude to a more positive, hardworking attitude that has to happen or else you'll let that failure define you and that you'll just kind of dwell on that and not really move forward with your life. I think that although you're allowed to be upset about your grade, you can't let that define how you work and function as a person. You can't keep dwelling on the past mistakes because those can't really be changed. You can only change what's ahead of you. And so like you see here, there are a ton of benefits to making sure that you move past your failure, take this as an opportunity to learn, maybe actually use your failure or disappointment or unsatisfactory grade as motivation to push farther and harder in this subject or the rest of your subjects, whatever it may be. But I think it is so, so, so important to make sure that just because you don't do well one time, you don't continue that pattern and you take this as a way for you to avoid having that happen in the future because you don't want to feel like this ever again. Once you've come to terms with this disappointment or unsatisfactory test grade, 
I would absolutely recommend that you take this as an opportunity to learn as to why you failed or didn't do very well in the first place. So first you want to establish what went wrong. So it could be something as simple as you didn't study enough or you just weren't prepared for a specific topic to be assessed or maybe you over prepared and you got really really nervous or maybe you have testing anxiety. It could be a whole bunch of different reasons but if you can't really figure it out I would definitely talk to your teacher or TA or a classmate whoever you feel comfortable discussing this with and kind of just talk to them and see what went wrong. If you're talking to a teacher it will help a lot because it'll show that you are concerned about your grade and that you want to succeed and you want to do well. You just aren't sure what you should do so that you can improve yourself in this class in the future. So that's something that has definitely worked out really really well for me and after you've kind of discovered what you didn't do right on this specific instance it's important to kind of create a plan or um, a reminder or anything that will help you fix that problem next time that you have a test or a quiz assessment whatever it may be and that way you'll really avoid having that same situation again. There is a quote by Beyonce regarding this topic that really resonated with me and she says you could actually work super hard and give everything you have and lose. There's a common like misconception about effort equaling success and that isn't always the case because often you can work as hard as you possibly can and still not do very well on a test. So I just wanted to reiterate that your grades and test scores don't define you and your worth as a person. They don't define your effort. They don't even define your success in the future. So if you're dealing with this currently, I really, really wish you the best of luck and I hope everything works out for you. And if you have anything that you'd like to share about your experience with disappointment or any tips you'd like to share, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Be sure to check out my previous video if you enjoyed this one. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Snapchat, Instagram, and Tumblr accounts. Bye guys!